No, oh, here we go. Oh, Look. shut up, stop it. Look at him. If we could just get you in position. <laughs> oh, say no more. Say no more. Megan, <laughs> Jeremy, you remember Mr. Algebra? Vividly. And Mr. Ooh. Harris, and this is Ms. Raiden. What? Philippa, please. They're back together again, eh? Who'd have thought it? Uh... Perhaps a lower order demon. Yes, it is awfully exciting, isn't it? <laughs> right, OK, then. We're going live in ten seconds, opening on camera one. Oh. Sorry. Cheers. Five, four, three... Welcome back. And no, you're not mistaken. Welcome Sitting back. across from us are some very Sitting familiar faces. <laughs> you really are too kind, Megan. It was only a yoghurt really commercial, kind, but I'm Megan. still proud of it. <laughs> Here to talk about his new show, we're joined by <laughs> national treasure Tommy Harris. <laughs> national deficit Jeff Algebra. It's so lovely to have you all. Um, Tommy, would you like to tell us about the show? You know what? I'd bloody love to. And where did the idea come from? So right, right, picture this. Um, their legs are kimbo, mid-session, sweat is pouring out of me like an immense hog. And then Cindy comes in, she says, there's Pete's on the phone. That's Peter Clement, the Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, Pete's actually a really good mate of mine. Oh, is he really? Yeah, yeah, no, he comes to the train. But anyway, so uh, yeah, Pete, he says, he says, Toby can eat his name, Toby says. He says, how would you like to spread your message of team spirit and cooperation across this fractured nation? How would you like to really make a difference in these desperate times? So Jeff, the question on everyone's lips is, what in God's name are you doing here? Ah, well. After the success of my debut work uh, and all the people that I knew that I had a, a career in theatre, yeah? I've always been an admirer of Tommy from afar. So when my manager phoned and said I've been off to the gig director, I was ecstatic. I whipped my trousers off and got straight to work. Why did you do that? I, I do all my best work with my trousers off. Yeah, I've been heard that too. No, no, I wouldn't say so. Right, Tommy, um, sorry, would you just give us a sense of what the show is actually about? Uh, it's about how hard it's been for me and some of the struggles that I've faced. It, it's like really getting to the heart of how tough it is to be me. I call it Tommy Harris, Jesus, that was hard. Mm. Catchy. Uh, we actually have some clips of the process of the show. Um, would you mind telling us what's going on here? Yeah, so the show is, is, is built around uh, two things that are very important to me. Uh, it mixes scenes from my life uh, as well as epic fantasy retellings of mm -hmm. scenes from my life. So it's Dad, you promised you'd come to my graduation. I'm sorry, son. You're an embarrassment. But Dad, you promised you'd come to my graduation. Back, demon! Back to the hells! Philippa, um, what's it been like co-starring with Tommy Harris? I've always dreamed of treading the boards of medium-scale regional theatres, Megan. And for once, this show really gives me something to sink my teeth into. What's different about this show, then? Tommy, uh, Mr. Harris's show really lets me show my tremendous range as an actor. I've always suffered from typecasting. Tired characters in every god-awful yoghurt advert or godforsaken soap opera or, god forbid, a pantomime. But, you know, this, this, this show has really let me just, just go there. Jeff, the viewers at home will be dying to know exactly what is it that you bring to the show? Good question. Uh, I think these guys would agree with me when I say that it's my, uh, my steady hand on the tiller, my arm down the shoulder approach that's really brought the production from strength to strength. Absolutely right. Jeff's contributions are immeasurable. He was our rock. Can you give us a sneak peek of anything else that might be in the show? Yeah, we'll yeah. Uh, yeah. We've got lots of exclusive first-hand experiences of... And some epic fantasy retellings of Tommy's time in the underground sports board scene. You'll never take the sacred path! And am I rising to 
This was officially commissioned by the government? Yeah, yeah, all, all paid for by the taxpayer, which, you know, to be honest, is actually a lifesaver, really. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that without Advantage's support, we'd have had to cut the finale. Yeah. Which, frankly, would have been a travesty. For what? Yeah. And the public are footing the bill, are they? <laughs> right they are. Between the cost of my tour bus and the dry cleaning of my ties, I'm barely scraping a profit here. Amazing. And where can the folks at home come and see this for themselves? We're performing all over the nation. And people can see it for absolutely free, all courtesy of Advance. Isn't that incredible, Jeremy? Yes. It's unbelievable. Well, thank you. Next time we see you, no doubt, you'll have taken our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all we have time for tonight. Join us tomorrow when I'll be interviewing the world's most attractive horse. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. And I'm Megan Walsh. All of us here have a piece of tonight. That's the ads. Let's get reset for tomorrow, please. Hey, we must stop bumping into each other like this, eh? <laughs> <laughs>